You are watching Endeavor TV with Balash Gal and the Medion E1222 netbook, which was available at the Aldi stores um, all over Europe. And we have here my Endeavor mascot. But what I'm going to show you today is a multimedia demonstration um, what this device is capable of with an Atom N450 processor, 1 gig of RAM, how to upgrade it to 2 GB of RAM. You can check that in my related videos. Um, on the right side here on YouTube or just in my Endeavor TV channel, but let's start off with a YouTube HD trailer um, Which is in this case Iron Man 2 the second trailer This is the mid um, sound volume right now We have 480p as you can see and if I turn the volume up to the maximum level so you can hear the quality You can hear that the speakers here on the front are pretty good as far as I'm convinced. So let's check out the 780, uh, 720p video, which shouldn't play this well. Let's turn off the volume. And yes, it plays, but it's stuttering for sure. So not really the best play 720p videos, uh, P videos. Um, let's check out the regular website like the New York Times for just a uh, resolution check on a 10 inch screen. So New York Times on uh, 1024 times 600 pixels. Let me scroll down a little bit because the site is kind of buggy in the Internet Explorer but this is how it would look like. My next test is of course a 720p video in the MKV format or um, H.268 um, codec with the Media Player Classic. It is the Big Bug Bunny, which is available for everybody for a free download. Um, this is a scene where there's a little bit more movement. And as you can see, of course, it plays really good. But this isn't anything exciting because any L <coughs> any other uh, netbook with an Atom N450 plays it this good. But 1080p, maybe there is something exciting. So let's see. The same movie, Big Bug Bunny in 1080p. Still high um, resolution and yeah. The sound doesn't fit the video and the fan just started working really hard. So if I turn off the volume and just go a little bit closer to the device you will hear how loud it is. So actually if you're already here this, these are the inputs. We have a, a Kensington Lock VGA USB and the microphone speaker on the front there is nothing and on the right side as you can see we have two usb devices already plugged in but there's also a card reader which reads uh, sd cards and memory sticks by sony a lan port um, power port and here's the big battery which you can't see really good because of the lan cable here but yeah it sticks out about two centimeters but I'm fine with that and there's of course the power button. The maximum um, angle for the display would be like this. So that's pretty good even for tall people. And let's check out some more interesting things about this little feller, fella. So um, the next thing would be some 5 megapixel pictures. Um, how fast you can flip through them. So if I click next with the one gigabyte RAM it goes fairly well. The, these are some pictures from Cologne and Paris I took so it's, it's fine and my last no not the last test yet um, will demonstrate your word just for a, a second Okay, I don't have a key because this is a test device and yeah, you can see here on a 100% scale it's pretty good. Usually I zoom into 120 so we have a half uh, DINA 4 page 
Here on the top, as you can see, I don't have the menu because you can right click it and minimize it if you want to. Now it's maximized, but I usually minimize it because if you want anything here on the top, you can just hit start and you get anything that you want without losing too much of the screen space um, in the vertical space. So this was Office 2007, 2010 will look about the same. And my last test of course is um, Counter-Strike. While that loads I will show you uh, some more of the device we have here. A nice great touchpad which doesn't work really well with the multi-touch. I can't really get it most of the time to work. And I don't know why but I will check the drivers. Maybe there's something wrong with that. What I really liked is the status LEDs here. As you can see the hard drive is working right now, wireless is turned off right now, it has actually Bluetooth 2 but it only has one in one green indicator for both. And we have the charging functionality here, which is kind of bad because if you close um, up down the lid, then you can't see if it's charging or not, but whatever. And yeah, of course you have a 1.3 megapixel webcam on the top. So let's play some Counter-Strike. This is 800 times 600 resolution right now. Let me do 12 players. And start the map Italy like I always do. And finish up this fast little review. You can see me here in the picture because it's um, a glossy screen. So this is Counter Strikes. 800 times 600 resolution with uh, 640 times 480 it will be a lot smoother but for hobby players this should be fine also so let me just walk around for a second and get killed so this was the median Akoya E1222 let me show you just now quick how the display looks from the side, so this would be from the left, from the front and from the right. As you can see it's get, it gets a little bit darker after about, um, I don't know, 25-30 degrees from the top. It will get brighter of course and if you check it from the bottom, if I lift it up a little bit, yeah the colors change also, it doesn't only get darker. So this was Endeavor TV with the Medion Akoya E1222, I'm Bolash Gal. And thank you for watching.